The purpose of this news conference is to detail some of the evidence against Oswald for the assassination of the president. This evidence was gathered by, largely by the Dallas police who did an excellent job on this with the help of some of the federal agencies. And I am going through the evidence piece by piece uh, for you. Number one, as some of this you will, you will already know, some of it you won't, I don't think. Uh, as, as all of you do know, first, there was a number, we have a number of witnesses that saw the person with the gun on the sixth floor of the bookstore building, the window detailing the window where he was looking out. Inside this window, the police found a row of books, cases, boxes, hiding someone sitting in the window from people on the same floor looking in. Uh, on the window was some boxes where in the little circle around the window by the bookcases, some boxes where apparently the person was sitting because he was seen from that particular window. On this box that the defendant was sitting on, his palm print was frowned and was identified as his. The three ejected shells were found right by the box. The shells were of an odd caliber of the type and later determined the gun that was found on the floor. The gun was hidden on this same floor behind some boxes uh, and uh, some bookcases. It, as I think you know, have, has been identified as having been purchased last March by the Oswald from a mail order house by and through, a, through an assumed name named Heidel, mailed to a post office box here in Dallas. On his person was a pocketbook, in his pocketbook was an identification card with the same name and post office box on it. Pictures were found by the defendant with this gun and a pistol on his, in his holster. Immediately that morning, it is unusual, but that morning a neighbor brought the Oswald from Irving, Texas. He usually brought him on Monday morning, I think, but this day he went home one day early on Thursday night to, and came back uh, to uh, with this fellow. And when he came back, he had a package under his arm uh, that he said was window curtains, I believe, or window shades. Uh, the wife had said he had the gun the night before. It was missing that morning after he left. He got out around 8 o'clock and went to the building behind some cars and went to work. A police officer immediately after the uh, assassination ran in the building and saw this man in a corner and started to arrest him. But the manager of the building said he was an employee and was all right. Every other employee was located, but this defendant of the company, a description and name of him went out by police to look for him. The next we hear of him is on a bus, where he got on a bus at Lamar Street, told the bus driver the president had been shot. The president told a lady, who all this is verified by statements, that told a lady on the bus that uh, the president had been shot and said, how did he know? And he says, the man back there told him, went back to talk to him. The defendant said, yes, he's been shot and laughed very loud. Uh, this was to a lady? A lady. He then, the bus, he asked the bus driver to stop, got off at a stop, caught a taxi cab driver. In Oak Cliff, uh, I don't have the exact place, and went to his home in Oak Cliff, changed his clothes hurriedly, and left. 
As he left, uh, three witnesses saw a police officer, Officer Tippett, motion to him or say something to him. He walked up to the car, Officer Tippett stepped out of the car and started around it. He shot him three times and killed him. Well, is this in front of the boarding house in Europe? No, it's not in front of the boarding house. How near is this? I don't have the exact. It's more than a block. It's a block or two. Was he on foot when Tippett saw him? Yes, he was on foot and apparently headed to the Texas theater. He then walked across a vacant lot Witnesses saw him eject the shells from the revolver and place, reload the gun. Someone saw him go into Texas Theater. A search was made of that later by a number of police officers. At the time, an officer of the Dallas police spotted him and asked him to come out. Uh, he struck at the officer, put the gun against his head, and snapped it but did not, uh, the bullet did not go off. We have the snap bullet there. Officers, officers subdued him at that time. Was that an attempt suicide, sir? Against, his head Against the officer's head. You know why the gun didn't McDonald go off? McDonald was his name. McDonald, you know his first name? It snapped, it was a misfire. Uh, then uh, <coughs> officers subdued him, some six officers subdued him there in the theater and he was brought to the police station here. Mr. Wade, why didn't the gun fire? It missed the firing pin on the pull, on the, it, uh, the, the, the shell didn't the explode. The it, they have the word hit it, but it didn't explode. It didn't fire the shell. There was one officer who said that he pulled the trigger, but he managed to put his thumb in the, in the uh, before the firing pin, and it didn't, uh, it didn't well, uh, strike the, uh, the bullet, it really exploded out. Is that? I don't know the I don't know. I know he did snap the gun, is all I know well, about we it. We can say it was a misfire. It was, it didn't, it didn't fire. <coughs> Go ahead, you get more evidence against, right? What other evidence? Let's get the story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Question there. Let's see, uh, the... His fingerprints were found on the gun. Which one? Have I said that? Which gun? On Which gun? the rifle. Uh, what about the paraffin test? Yes, I haven't gone into that. The paraffin test showed that he had uh, recently fired a gun. It was on both hands. On both hands? Both hands. Recently fired a rifle? A gun. A gun. The rifle fingerprints were his the rifle. Yes. Sir. Were there any fingerprints? Palm print, rather than fingerprints. Were there any fingerprints at the Wait, window? Palm print. So the palm print was on the yep. gun. Yes, on the gun. Where on the gun? Yes, sir. Where on the gun? Under the, on part of the metal under the gun. Did he still ever say anything about it? Admit anything at all? He never did admit admit any of the killing. Now I didn't. Uh, you asked me this. I didn't do any interrogation. Well, I thought maybe you listed that as part of a, the part of the evidence. Oh, no, it's not listed. Display here. any animosity towards the president. Any conversation with any officers? He was bitter toward all of the officers that examined him. Is what I've been told. Sir, Would you continue, Congress. sir, and we'll let's, question you later? Let's finish the. We have. Uh, and, uh, that's about all. What about uh, ballistics? Uh, ballistics test. Well, I said this was the gun that uh, killed the president. Yes. Is that the FBI report, the leverages of the FBI. I won't. I'm not liberty to go into the FBI FBI report. Did you say the gun was mailed to a post office box in Dallas in March? March of this year. Was he living in Dallas then? Yes. Uh, Presumably he was. He got it here. Previously, he lived in New Orleans. He said he had only been here two months. He came to he came to Fort Worth sometime in the fall of '62, and then moved here a while, and apparently went to New Orleans for a while and came back. Now, when the period of that is, I'm not sure. Mr. Wade, what was the evidence that we were told was uh, startling evidence that uh, could not be told to the press uh, Saturday morning? Saturday morning. They said it came in Saturday morning and that could not be revealed. It was uh, uh, I'm not. Physical evidence. I don't know. Uh, that wasn't me that said that, I don't Have know. you given us everything that... I've given you everything that I... Do you know that he has been recognized as a patron of Ruby's Nightclub? 
I don't know that. Do you know of any connection between Mr. Ruby and, and the... I know I'm not. Are you investigating reports that he might have been slain because Ruby might have feared he would implicate him in something? The police are making an investigation of that murder. I don't know anything about that. Is the investigation... Although charges have been filed, it will be presented to a grand jury on Ruben. Uh... We'll probably immediately within the next week, and it'll probably be tried around the middle of January. Has the district attorney's office closed its investigation of the assassination you know of the president? Before sending the gun to Washington? Before. Before sending the gun to Washington? Yes. Do you, do you think it was unusual for Jack Ruby to be in that crowd? I don't pass on that. Uh, unusual to be in that crowd? The reports that has been... Well, I was, planned to... I've been here since last night, so I don't know anything about Mr. Wade, today's uh, happening. The... How do you feel about not being able to try Oswald as the killer of the president? Well, uh, tr we will try Ruby and ask the death penalty on him about the same time. Well, how about you... the... I don't want to go into why or wherefores on anything. Has your office closed its investigation into the death of President Kennedy? No, sir, the investigation uh, will continue on that with a basis toward, uh, and we have no concrete evidence that anyone assisted him in this, but the investigation, I'm sure, will go on uh, with reference to any possible accomplice or people that assisted him in it. Do you have a suspicion now that there were? I have no uh, concrete evidence or suspicions at present. Thank you. Would you be willing to say, as with, with all this evidence, uh, that uh, it is now beyond a reasonable doubt at all that uh, that uh, Oswald was the killer of President Kennedy? I would say that without any doubt he's the killer. The law says beyond a reasonable doubt and to a moral certainty, which I there's no question that he was the killer of President Kennedy. That case is closed in your mind. As far as I was concerned. Yes. Mr. Wade, will we be able to uh, have copies of the photographs showing Oswald? Oswald? If you have them, you'll have to get them from the Dallas police. What do you think was the motive of Ruby? I don't know. I haven't talked with him. What do you feel is the strongest evidence in that list? Well, it's like any case based on a series of circumstances. They all have to fit together. Yeah. You put a man in the window with a gun, people cannot positively identify him from the ground. He fits their general description. You have his fingerprints there. You have the shells there. You have his gun that he purchased. What do you think was Oswald's motive in killing the president? Don't, can't answer that. We found any fluctuation in Oswald's bank account or his finances. I know, of not, know nothing about that. Mr. Wade, this bomb was found on both the gun and the box? Yes, sir. Both of them. Mr. Wade was the right found by the Dallas police. How do you explain there were no fingerprints? They were co-workers that left him there around 12 o'clock. Building, I didn't mention that. The witnesses put him on the fourth floor at 12 o'clock and shortly thereafter. The I mean, the sixth floor. The where, the box, where the box is. What did you say? The ballistics? Uh, I missed the part about the that, ballistics test. This was the gun, the bullet from this gun killed the president. What, what is the that gun from the FBI, you? sir? I, I can't go into anything from the FBI. Wait, have you heard the story that Oswald and Ruby were previously appointed? I think I heard it on radio or something, but I don't know anything about it. Do we have a chance to talk to Ruby? I have not talked with... Okay. No, sir, I have not talked with either one of them. But what, will, will we get a chance to talk to him or something? Okay, Dick. I don't know anything about that. Did you know Ruby? I, this was entirely about going over the evidence. I thought some of you would want. Did you know Ruby before this? No, sir. So I'm in this very same room he, Friday night when we had the defendant he up here. He threw a stag party for the Texas Bar Association in the Adolphus Hotel. Were you there? No, sir, I wasn't there. As a matter of fact, some of... Oh, excuse me. If some of you will recall, he asked a question from out here in the audience or answered a question. He's standing right back here, and I didn't know who he was. I thought he was a member of the press, and he told me as we walked out of here that he was a nightclub operator here. What question did he ask? Huh? What question did he ask? I don't remember, but he... The answer one, I think. Maybe it was an answer, but he said you something. Know, I was, you remember it was Friday night when I asked you to do an interview with me on the phone, and you had another call, and, and Ruby was hanging around in the background. You were on the phone, and I said... Uh, and, I, and then you had to uh, go away, and I, and I asked Ruby... Uh, 
because he seemed to me like a detective. He seemed to be all over this place. I said, would you see if you could get him on the phone? He's here now. And he went around, and he got you, and he brought you over my telephone. It might have been where he told me who he was. I didn't know who he was either when he... Uh, I think someone here answered that question in that he answered a question. Somebody asked something and he answered it back there. And I don't know what it was. I think it was some question about a street or an address or a name or something. You look to be like your good friend. I don't know what <laughs> uh, Do you feel that list is complete? Or anything is withheld by uh, government agencies? Federal this is all that I know of. That's all you know? Yes. Mr. After Wayne, receiving the report. In this case, what would you use as a theory of, as to his motive? Again, a question about a motive. Well, of course, that has to develop. You have to develop that from all of the evidence. And uh, I can't go into motive. Uh, uh, it depends on what you get in evidence. If you get everything that's been written in the papers in evidence, you could put a pretty good motive there. But I don't, a lot of that I don't think would be admissible. What can you tell and us? And you've got to base your motive on what you have before the jury. What can you tell us so far about your investigation of uh, Jack Ruby? I haven't uh, had anything to do with it. I was, I haven't, uh, uh, no, I know nothing about it. Will you Justice be involved? I will try. Is the Justice, the Justice Department heading up that investigation? Uh, as far as I know, the Dallas Police is. How would you evaluate the work of the Dallas Police in investigating the death of the President? I think the Dallas Police did an excellent job on this, and before midnight on when he was killed, uh, had the man in custody and had sufficient evidence, what I think, to convict him. Mr. Wilson, you identified the gun positively as the one that was purchased from the team. And was it was not there. It can be positively identified. Is it a serial number? Serial number. Do you serial, number. Serial, serial number. Serial number. And medical. And both that and on the scope, too. Oh, the, oh the, you bought the scope off? No, the scope was on the gun, but of course a different person makes it, a different company makes the scope. Did he buy, when he bought the gun, did he buy the gun with the scope, scope and one unit? Scope was on it when it was purchased. Do you know what kind of gun it was? Do you know what kind of gun it was? I don't have the exact, it was a foreign made gun. Of a, six in a 510 millimeter. It's six. Made. Is that correct? Uh, it's six 510 millimeter and I understand it's a used gun of uh, Italian make, probably. Do you see that the, the It was mounted, as I understand it, when it came. Do you see that the easy availability of guns such as this uh, requires new and more stringent laws? That is an old question that's been off. Uh, uh, it's obvious you didn't have any guns. You probably wouldn't have any murders with guns. Uh, but it's nearly impossible to keep a person who wants to kill from finding a gun somewhere. Do you know Oswald's activities nine or ten days ago? I never heard of him until he was arrested and brought in here. <coughs> Mr. Wade, the State Department put out a okay. information in Washington that related the importance of telling this evidence to the American people to a situation developing in Russia. Oh, okay. And the Russian the Marxists uh, mentioned in relation to Oswald's background. Can you tell us anything in your evidence that's related to a Marxist background? No, sir, I can't. There's some uh, uh, things found on him, like newspapers and things, that per uh, didn't necessarily connect him with the organization, like uh, Communist Daily Worker or something. I don't think you can necessarily say he was. Uh, in fact, he read it doesn't necessarily mean that he, uh, he couldn't prove that he belonged to it. I've read uh, quite a bit about this subject. I know what you're talking about, but I've read interviews from reporters from over in Russia all on this subject that uh, apparently they know quite a bit more about than I do. Was there material found here related directly to the case? There's, there's, no, there's no material that said he belonged to any uh, group other than this fair play for Cuba that I know of. Nothing found in the room from Well, there's lots of material dealing with that movement, Fair. <coughs> Henry, were you ever able to ascertain whether he went to Washington and took part in the uh, House of American Activities Committee riots? Uh, I know nothing about that. It's, I don't think he told anybody he was, and I don't know of any. Not to my knowledge. Now, I assume someone has been trying to check that, but I don't know anything on that subject. Did Ruby do that? Were you answering about Ruby or no, this about was Oswald? A, this about Oswald, wasn't it? 
I don't know of anything on either one of them up there, for that matter. I believe that's about it. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why did you call this night, and why did you go over to Well, there's a lot of reasons. Probably the main one, I received a call from Paris, France, and Stockholm, Sweden, and nearly every foreign country asking me about this evidence, and I thought from there's newsmen in those countries. Did Robert Kennedy or anyone from his office? I've heard nothing from any of the, from Washington or any of the officials in this country on this matter. But I decided that uh, I've heard, I've had uh, a number of newsmen call me from all over the world, wanting to know why it wasn't, and I thought, okay. just my own mind decided it's a good idea. Are, no. you, excuse me, yes. are you aware that the Justice Department, before you made this announcement and before you came into the building tonight, had said that uh, new evidence or the evidence would all be released and given to newsmen? No, sir, I'm not familiar with that other than uh, as I walked out the door, one of the one of the, your men, I think, called me and told me that uh, there's something on that that they were considering that. But I was already had this up and was coming out to see you. That had nothing to do with me getting this ready. Is there, is, there, is there any doubt in your mind that if Oswald was tried, that you would have had him convicted by a jury that, with the evidence you had? I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that we would have convicted him, but of course, you, you never know what, uh, we've had lots of people we thought that somebody might hang the jury or something, but there's no question. Well, as far as you're concerned, the evidence you gave us, you, you could have convicted them. I've sent people to the electric chair on less. This was more than enough, though. Yes. Will you seek the death penalty for Ruby? Yes. Even if he pleads guilty? Yes. Is it an automatic death penalty? Does the FBI have additional evidence? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know what they have. Sir, do you know when you'll present the Ruby case to Yeah. Within a week, I said. I might say on this that uh, you asked about the penalty on it. This latter, this latter case was an assassination of a man under arrest, handcuffed, that to me is a very aggravated case and warrants death penalty. Thank it, you. A second assassination doesn't help a first. Do you have a signed statement for Mr. Yes. I haven't seen it, but I think they have. Are you investigating the possibility that Ruby might have killed Oswald because he fears Oswald might implicate him in some way? I'm not investigating anything. I will try whatever. I'll try the case. Concerning the Oswald evidence, Mr. Wade, is there any one single uh, portion of that that you consider most important? Well, the gun being his and the gun that killed him and his fingerprints on him and his fingerprints by the window make out a pretty good case. His flight also is important. It's like one of these things, uh, you can't just go and say this one thing will convict him. On any case based on circumstantial evidence, it has to, all the circumstances have to point to the guilt and exclude every other reasonable hypothesis, which we, I think all of them will. The combination of that uh, fills the bill. Yes, sir. I think he's already been for the JP, hadn't he? The district attorney. I think he was taken for the JP. The JP was here today. I know he called me. Against Harvey Lee Oswald. If they have an examined trial, which they may interdict. Mr. Wade has said that he is concerned. I don't know when that'll be or whether it's been set yet. When was the assassination? Well, we're prepared to go now, and but it'll probably be Wednesday before we can. I mean, we'd sort of set up to have the other Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday, and so we'll run this in its place. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.